Yo, what's up, everybody? Devil May Care 4 here with my boy. Mr. Howard, one, two, three. And real quick before we get started, please go down in the description, check out the links for Twitter, for Discord, for Patreon. And also make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're trying to close the gap. Uh, we want more of you that are coming back to watch these videos to subscribe. It start, In the beginning, when we started tracking this, it was at a, about 85%. Now it's at 78%. So you guys are doing it. Just keep on doing it. Please subscribe. We want to get to a thousand as soon as possible. Yes, yeah, so we can apply for that partnership. Uh, so, Roger, last week yes. you showed me a song from one of your favorite RPGs, Persona Five. This mm -hmm. is one of my favorite RPGs called Lost Odyssey, and it's a tragedy because this game was, in my opinion, the last Final Fantasy turn-based game ever made. Because the creators, uh, a couple people who or had their hand in Final Fantasy, made this game, and Nobu, mm -hmm. the guy who made the music. This was like one of the last times he made music for an RP RPG. Mm. For Final Fantasy series, he made this, this soundtrack as well. And this is the battle theme of the game. This is called the Gun Barrel of Battle. Man, I'm going to tell you though, this RPG is one of my favorites. Like, it sucks because it's stuck on the 360. Like, there's no like PC port, you know what I'm saying? Or nothing like that. They just need to remake it. But, but you know what? I'm scared if they remake it, it's not going to be turn-based. And here's so. the thing, though. The game looks amazing still. Like, it's definitely mm. got some dated visuals somewhat. But the style is what, in the aesthetic, like, you know how I'm a big guy. I'm a sucker for, like, it doesn't have to be the best-looking game as long as the style is good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't want to talk too much about it. I think you should just enjoy the song and we should play it. You ready? Yeah, let's go. All right. It, it, it's weird because this is a you can tell our orchestra is doing this but it still sounds old yeah it's this game like it's very much a, a, a old school RPG with a beautiful coat of paint like a, like beautiful graphics and style mm. Mm. Yeah, very good. <laughs> I can imagine a, a core style band performing this on in a field show. And like flag girls running across the field. Yeah. <laughs> this song, I have to show you the intro after this if you don't mind. This song plays during the intro, like, it's so, so, I can't, I don't want to spoil it. All right, I'm going to find it real quick, and I'll just, I'll just, uh... Okay, guys, so we found the intro. I wanted to show him the intro. He heard the song. Now I think he needs to see how it applies to the gameplay and whatnot. So let's play this. Mm. I'm excited for you to see this. I don't know why. This shit is so good, bro. Now, uh, is, is this game even available, like, through backwards compatibility? It might be on the Xbox One, or maybe. I don't know. I don't think so, though. Maybe. But it's just crazy how, like, it doesn't get any love or respect. So it's just a gem. It's like a hidden gem. Probably because it was on the Xbox and people weren't really looking at R J Japanese RPGs like that on that console. That's facts. It was more of a PS3 thing, right? Yeah. Like, for RPGs, I mean. Mm -hmm.
Damn. I better get the hell out of there. <laughs> oh shit, look at that. <laughs> My legs. <laughs> They're Phoenix Down machines. Worse, I mean, we're actually cooler than that. Actual healers all like using a conduit. Imagine waking up from dying. <laughs> all right, get back to killing. <laughs> I'd woke up mad as hell. You killed me, motherfucker. <laughs> right. Oh hell no. Damn. Yeah, this kid this shit is gangster. Ugh. Now you're in the game. That's the game. You're playing the game right now. What? Yeah, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say, bro. Oh, that shit is cool, right? Come on, bro. I wanted to see him fight them. <laughs> <laughs> it's sick. It's so cool, bro. Like, I'm telling you, this game... I, I picked this video because I think you should play it yourself. Like, I don't know if you have an Xbox or not, but... Yeah, I have, a, I have an Xbox One. It should be backwards compatible. I believe it might be. Like, I have a feeling it is. Like, I don't know why I remember it being backwards compatible, but it's a shame that this game never got, like, a sequel or, like, never gets talked about, in my opinion. Like, it's kind of, like, just obscure, you know? Mm hmm it's, it's such a great series. The story, oh, my God, dude, the story is insane. Like, it's, it, if I was, it's not really a spoil. It's just, like, mm -hmm. it's already, like, a known. Um, that guy's immortal. The guy you play as, he can't die. Like, he just can't. Like, he doesn't age, he doesn't die. Um, and he's a hired mercenary, and he w was in that fight. And it's, mm. it's about his, his story and the people he meets, and about, you know, being immortal, what it means to be immortal. You know what I'm saying? The, the, what you lose and what you forget and what you remember and all that, all the stuff in between. You know what I mean? That's, yeah. That's, that's the gist of it. It's more to it than that, but that's just the gist of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a really good story. And there's like, in in the game, whenever you go to sleep in a hotel, you have a dream, and it becomes like a visual novel. You know what I'm saying? Like that that moment of gameplay becomes a visual novel, where it's mm -hmm. like there's no dial, there's no like voice acting for the for the for the visual novel part. It's just like music and like a like a, a visual, not like not like people talking, just like light or like something happening. You know what I'm saying? Like a door opening or something like that. Like you know what I'm saying? And you read yeah. it, and it has the music that plays along with it, and it's so it's sick. And the dreams are all of his past lives, you know what I'm saying? Like his memories mm. that he's forgotten, you know? Like fragments. Well, it's, it, it does. I'm looking at the backwards compatibility list, and it is on there. Ooh, shit. That is cool. But yeah, it's great. I love this game. Uh, I own it. I don't have a 360 anymore. I have an Xbox One. I, I guess I'll try it and see if that works, but... um. Yeah, man, it's really sick. I mean, what did you think about everything? Um, I liked it a lot. Like, I I still would have wanted it to. I still would want it to be remade because, like, while like the action in the cutscene was cool and how he dodged the 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 swords and stuff, his face was still. You can still tell it was an old game because yeah. of the face. Yeah. Or whatever yeah and then the music the music matched everything it, it had that old school feel to it even though it was an or a live orchestra doing it um i, I really like that a lot and it did sound like final fantasy it sounded like final fantasy yeah. music. Mm -hmm. yeah and the game is great like the graphics you saw like those are pretty pretty in par on par with like how the game looks majority you know it's just it's just overall 
a pleasant experience. I really enjoyed it. I kind of want to yeah. play it again now. Um, but yeah, guys, comments. Let us know what you guys think about this video, this game. Have you guys heard of this game? What's another obscure RPG or game that you guys would like to, us to check out or want to talk about? I'm sure there's plenty of hidden gems out there for us to check out. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. If you don't, leave a thumbs down. Tell us what we could do to improve. We read all the comments. If you have any suggestions you want us to uh, check out or add to our list, go ahead and throw them out there. We'll put them on our list and we'll get to it eventually. You know, we'll try our best. We're only two people trying to do this, so we don't have we don't have all the time in the world. But if you guys help us reach partnership and we can make this like a thing that we can do more of, uh, you know, financially, we could probably t uh, we were talking about this. We would probably could like instead of making like ten videos a week, we could do like three or four videos a day. <laughs> you know, and just make it like something we just do for y'all. But anyway. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope to see you guys next time. Peace. See ya.